Hello everybody, welcome back to Hard Reset channel. In today's video, I'll show you the top 10 hidden features you didn't know about on your Pixel 9a. So first, what you guys can try to do is use circle to search by going to settings. Now going to here system and going to navigation mode. Here you can use the free button navigation for it. You need to enable circle to search and basically hold the circle here. As you guys can see, now we can basically draw a circle around it. And as you guys can see, it will find something similar in the internet. You can also use the gesture navigation if you're not a fan of the free button navigation. So what you gotta do is basically hold this little line here. As you guys can see, it still works perfectly fine. And that would be it for the first one. Now the second one is the now playing option. So we need to go to settings. Here we need to go to display and touch. Now go over to the lock screen. And here you have the sh in the shortcuts category. Here you have now playing. Here you have identify songs playing nearby. You can disable or enable it. You can also enable the button on the lock screen. And here you can check your now playing history. So if you find a song and you don't know the title, but you hear it, then you can basically use it. Now, the next thing is the add me in group photos. So what you guys need to do is basically go over to your camera app. Now go over to add me. And as you guys can see here, you have a perfect example of how it works. Basically, it will try and combine two photos. It works the best with a tripod or something that can hold your phone in one position, for example, like that, without shaking, without doing anything. So it's pretty cool. And now what we have next is the palm timer for the selfie camera. So as you guys can see, what we need to do is go over to photo now. We need to use this camera and we need to go to settings, more settings. And here we have the palm timer. As you guys can see, we can take a selfie from a distance by just showing our palm and it will start a free second timer. So let me show you guys how it works. We basically need to use our palm just like that. And as you guys can see, here we have the timer. So that's pretty cool. Now the next thing we have is the zoom enhance and it's basically after we take a photo. So here, let me show you, let me use the maximum 8x zoom. Now, as you guys can see, I'll show you how it works. You need to notice the details pretty fast because. Oh, and as you guys can see now it's after the processing, it's much lighter much brighter and it looks just like this. You can see every detail. Now the next thing is live translate. So let me go over to settings and now go over to system. Oh, sorry, it's right here. And here we have live translate. As you guys can see here, we can add a language. We can download every single one and then we can use it to detect our conversations. So we can use it if we don't understand the language in let's say another country. And this is the only way you can talk to other people, understand them and much more. So the next thing is adaptive charging. It's a pretty cool feature for your battery. So go over to settings. Now go to battery. And here, as you guys can see, here we have charging optimization. Now here we have adaptive charging, so it will normally finish to 100% right before we need to unplug the phone. So it's pretty cool. Now the next one is limit to 80%, so it will only charge to 80% battery, and it will basically extend our battery lifespan because it's not a full cycle. It's probably about 60 to 50%, depends on how you charge the phone. And that makes it a pretty cool feature. 
now the next thing is the enhanced upgrade so as you guys can see now we have 4 by 5 and after we go to settings now we need to go to wallpaper and style right here go over to home screen and now scroll down here we will have the upgrade as you guys can see we can change it to 5x5 five five, and now the icons are smaller we can also try and use it for something else like 2x2 two two. it looks pretty funny as you guys can see and that's basically it now the next thing is digital well-being tools basically an app limiter if the phone is for a child let's say so basically go over settings now what we need to do is scroll down until we see digital well-being and parental controls click it and as you guys can see here we have everything now here we have app limits let's say call of duty now click on app timer and as you guys can see we can set it for let's say two hours and it will reset at midnight so we can only use this app two hours in a day now here you also have a bedtime and much more let me show you guys here we have the bedtime mode and here we have the focus mode now here you can select all the distracting apps and basically do that here we have much more like notifications do not disturb and many more options and last but not least we have the quick tap gestures so let me go over to settings right back here and now let me go over to system now here we need to go to gestures and here we have the quick tap to start actions now we can enable it and as you guys can see we can basically take a screenshot access our digital assistant play or post media series and apps and much more now here also like the open app calculator here you can also require stronger tabs if you don't want to open anything here by mistake so let me show you guys basically when we're here and we tap twice it should work as you guys can see it says quick tap detected now let me try on tapping and as you guys can see now the calculator is open we can try everything here and that's pretty cool so that would be it for all the top 10 hidden features on your phone so if this video was fun or anything then let me know in the comments like subscribe and see you in the next one bye